Welcome to my messy workspace. Let me quickly run you through what I did. Um, on the screen, we see print run, which used to be printer face, but now it's print run. And it still says printer face. Who cares? Um, one very important thing to see here is that the temperature of the hot end is now measured at minus 15 degrees, which is darn cold. Anyway, that's what it's reading. Over here, we have my ramps set up, the Mega and the ramps. There's nothing on there yet. I'm waiting for China to ship my stuff. Um, it's powered at the moment on a 12 volt, small 12 volt power source. And it says somewhere down there, it says, printer is now online on the top of your screen. Printer is now online. Great. So the RAM system is working. Over here, we have a 3.2 inch TFT screen. Quickly. Yay. And this screen, when you buy it, they tell you it cannot work with the ramp. It cannot work with the ramp system. It won't work. It just can't be done. Okay, so here we are. What I did is I made a signal converter because the ramps works on five volt signals. So the signals coming from the ramps, those are the green and the yellow jumper wire on this setup. Those signals go to the board and they are split. There's a resistor here, two because there are two signals, and resistor there, also two, which split the three volt, the five volt signal from the RAMS board and they turn it into a three volt signal because it loses two volts over the first set of resistors and it loses two volts over the second, uh, three volts over the second. So the five volt signal from the ramps has now become a three volt signal going to RX receive. Same thing for the other one, but that's more difficult. The TX transit uh, transmit has the purple and orange wire, they go through a little uh, non-inverting transistor. Each signal has its own transistor. Also again with little resistors in there. And I'll post a schematic somewhere of how that's done. But the funny thing is that, as you saw, it measures minus 15 degrees, which makes sense because there's no sensor connected. So there is a very high resistance. So it must be pretty darn cold. If I now look at the screen, what does it say? It says, oh darn, minus 15 degrees centigrade. So the thing is communicating. So we know it's communicating from the ramps to the screen. I don't know yet whether it's communicating the other way. I haven't figured out a way to test that without the entire ramps assembled and printer hooked up. There is one thing I didn't mention yet, and that is that the ramps board works on 5 volts and the power of the screen is also 5 volts. But the power regulator on the ramps board, or better said, on your Mega, is too weak. It, it'll blow when you connect the screen. So first off I tried, I took the small voltage regulator of the, of the mega board, I took it off, and I put a 7805 in place, which first of all works because I'm going to 24 volts power, but still one of them gets pretty darn hot heating the screen. So what I did is I made a secondary connection, the little blue wire you see here. There is no power connection going from the RAMS board 
to the screen. The only connection there is, is the negative, the black wire, and the four signals. The blue wire comes into the board. I have two 7805s on here. I have some capacity to stabilize everything. And I also have a capacity and a small 3.3 voltage, volt voltage regulator for the this assembly, but I'll show you that later. And I'll put a link in the description on how that's made. Anyway, I think I have a functioning TFT 3.2 screen on my ramps.